right, all right. <clears throat> We're live. We'll wait for some folks to come on in. Good morning. While well, we're waiting, is it there? There we go. See, when you get back, they'll get in. Good morning, Nicole. Who is that? Is that Cass? Is that you watching? Good morning, Dre. Oh, right. Well, good morning. Good morning. I see you guys coming on in rather quickly. Good morning. Thank you for joining Circle Time. This morning is, it's Thursday and today is science. Today we're doing science. Yesterday we did Wednesday wellness and today is Thursday, so we're doing science. We're going to make no bake Play-Doh. Good morning, Nicole. Hey, you have to Zoom me after this, okay? I, we talk, I talked to the kids the other day for a long time. And you were asleep. Talk to Sano too. So anyway, offline we'll talk. Um, so thank you so much for joining. We're going to do some of our morning songs. And then we're going to make no bake Play-Doh. So if you have these materials, I want you to go get them. We'll sing some songs. So then when I'm doing the Play-Doh, you can be doing the Play-Doh at home. So what you need is two bowls. I'll show you. Two bowls. You need salt. You need cooking oil. You need I'm you need flour, measuring cups, and something to mix it up with. I typically use my hands. I'm also gonna use food coloring um, to make the play-doh a different color. And if you have essential oils or vanilla, you can put that in your play-doh because it makes it smell good. And I love the the smell of good smelling Play-Doh. I often use like peppermint, we'll drink. Um, the winter season, I use pimper, peppermint or um, cinnamon. That's what I use during the winter seasons. And in the spring, we use vanilla, um, lavender, um, and we just drop a few drops if you have essential oil in your Play-Doh. If not, just if you have um, vanilla in your cupboard, just a little bit of your vanilla. And if not, you just have Play-Doh. And that's fine if it doesn't smell any, like anything. Or if you have a lemon, get some lemon, squeeze it in with your liquids, and it will smell like lemon. Okay? So those are the materials you will need. Um, if you have them, run and go get them. We'll do our good morning song. We'll do a few things. And then when it's time to make the Play-Doh, we can make it together. Sound good? Okay. Well, good morning. Hi, Jeremiah. Hi, Melanie and Imani. There she is. Sarah, can you say good morning to everyone? Good morning. Okay, don't kick the box, okay? I was busy eating. Yes, she was busy eating. She had waffles and honey this morning. Yeah, I still got honey. That's food. Okay, that's all right. All right, so we're going to sing our good morning song. Yeah, I got it. I got a surprise. Okay, we'll do that at the very end, okay? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, why don't we sing, welcome, welcome. Yeah. We haven't done welcome, welcome in a long time, and I think everybody finally learned welcome, welcome, and we moved to a different song. Okay, let's sing welcome, welcome. Here we go. Welcome, welcome, everybody's here. Welcome, welcome, be a good cheer. Here we are together, it's such a lovely day. Here we are together again to work and to play. Thank you, Thank you for this beautiful day. That's the other song where we say it and then they say it. That's good morning. Okay. Well, today is, what's, what's today? Do you know what today is? Um, what are you guys doing? Okay, how about a simpler question? How many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. Let's go. Did you know Daddy helps me learn one plus ten, one plus seven? Oh, really? Yes. That's great. He learns he learn with me because first I said ten. And, and then, then it was, <laughs> no. It wasn't. Okay. All right. Well, let's count. I'm going to count using my sighting hands, and you can count using both of your hands, two hands if you want, okay? Here we go. We're going to count to seven for how many days there are in a week. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. There are seven days in a week, and that's the first line to our song. Are you guys yeah, ready to sing? Yeah, happy. Yeah, okay, focus. Okay, here we go. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, loud and proud. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. So if you notice, Sarah is not focused. It's because my mom is over there singing with us. So Sarah is looking at my mom. Um, but she has chosen to be off camera today. So maybe we'll see her next Thursday. Okay, so we've done our two songs. Have you guys got your materials yet? I hope so. So I'm going to just, we're going to jump right into it because today is Thursday. It's a fairly quick circle today because it's science. I want to give you plenty of time to play with whatever we made. Last week we made our oil and water. We talked about how we mix water and food coloring and they blended together and we couldn't tell where one ended and one began. And then we put in cooking oil and then the cooking oil separated and we could tell the difference between the water and the oil. But today we're making Play-Doh and we will use oil. All right, let's get it out. All right, Sarah, are you gonna help me with this or no? Uh, but I want to spill it. That's okay, I'll, I'll, I will help you. All right, can you guys see, see, see? Yes, we can see, see, see. With the stirring. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, Mom. <laughs> okay, so I have um so for that is Bobby. Bobby's already here. Yeah, Bobby's already here, but she's watching. She's she's our editor. She tells us what we can do better. Okay, so I have the recipe. This is a no cook recipe. Usually when I cook Play-Doh, I do it um with hot water. Um, but because some of you guys have littles, sometimes it's hard to cook. You know, this is supposed to be easy and you're supposed to do it with your littles. So we're going to do a no-cook Play-Doh. All right, so what you're going to do, get, get the measuring cup. You need one cup of flour. Get your flour. Can you get the flour? I'll put it in the flour. Okay, so actually you might want to sit on this side of me. Because we're going to put everything in here. So get one cup of flour. And you're going to put it into... Hold on, then I'll put the flour in the measuring cup, and then you will pour it in the bowl. Oh gosh, I have black pants on. Okay, put that in the bowl. You gotta hold the handle. Yeah, there you go. Not too high. All right. One cup of flour. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so we need one cup of flour, one fourth cup of salt. If you, the salt keeps your Play-Doh from not being so sticky. Oh, so if you have a cup, um, usually inside of the cup measure, there's a line for one fourth of, one fourth of a cup. It's inside the one cup. Right? I, I hope that was one fourth. Let's see. Oh, that was three fourths. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, it looked like a lot. One third. Here we go. So we're going to, um, here's one fourth cup. So here. Uh, I know how to do it. I'm going to sift some of it out. All right. I've done it enough times to kind of know, except I just put one three-fourths cup of salt in here. <laughs> Nicole said good morning, Mom. Okay, so we've got our one-fourth cup of salt. We have our cup of flour. Remember, this is no cook. 
So you can do this with your kiddos and you're not gonna have to use boiling water. Hi, Kiki. Um, okay. Hi, Kiki. <laughs> one teaspoon of vegetable oil. So all your wet things are gonna go in a different bowl. So one teaspoon of vegetable oil. Oh, can you, <laughs> can you go to the drawer and get the small spoons? I forgot. We're gonna need a teaspoon. Oh, mom, can you get it? Okay, so let's see. Teaspoon and I think one cup of water. Here's a cup. This this is not a measuring spoon, Mom. Nope, in the middle drawer by the oven, to the to the right of the oven. Yeah, there you go. Go get those from mom. Okay, one teaspoon. Uh, one teaspoon of oil. So we're gonna put the oil in. Can you pour that in there? Very nicely. Good I job. Did, I Got don't it. want my bag in. Can this even have to be microwave? Nope. That's why it's no cook. My, uh, my mom just asked, this water doesn't have to be microwave because usually when we cook Play-Doh, we're used to hot water that kind of cooks the flour. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so it's a different, I've actually never done this recipe, but I wanted to try it. So pour this, pour this one in here, Sarah. So you're going to mix your oil and your water. Pour it so carefully in this one. There you go. Good job. Okay, you can go set that on your counter. And then, if you want colors, Sarah loves blue. So we're gonna use our blue. If you have food coloring, get your blue out. Drop it with your wet ingredients. I put about 10 drops in there. Yeah. Now, I'll help you still with it. Um, and then I'm gonna put our vanilla, just a little bit. Just a Okay, so what I'm gonna do, it smells so good. I'm gonna mix it up because, as you know, um, water and oil don't mix, and food coloring and oil don't mix unless you have a, yeah, you go ahead and do that, unless you have a food coloring that is oil based. So we're gonna mix this up, the flour and the salt. Mix it all up, all up, all up. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is pour, 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 pour the water in. Okay, let's pour the water. There you go. And then you mix it. So I have a, a, one of the rubber spatulas. Okay, Sarah, look at you're in front of the camera. Nobody can see what's going on. Okay, wait, let me just mix it up a little bit. And you're just gonna kind of fold it and it's kind of really messy but it starts clumping together. I don't know if you can see that. It's forming. But it's like the slime. It's kind of like the slime. Yeah, because, because last time we used this, that thing to, to get the slime. Yeah, so it's it's forming together. So, tip, if it's too, if it's, if it's too wet and too mushy, then put more um, flour. Let me just get it started, Sarah, and then once it's it's kind of formed, then we're gonna take it out this bowl and you can mash it up, okay? okay. And then it's so good. Then it's so good. Yeah. But okay. we can't eat it. No, we can't eat it. So also, even though it's so fun to have good smelling Play-Doh, if you have little ones who like to put things in their mouth and sometimes um, their listening ears forget, then you maybe don't want to use smell good in your Play-Doh because it smells so good that you want to eat it. Um, so that's just a tip. Okay, so this is, this is pretty much it. This isn't it, but 
You just keep kneading it until it comes together. And we'll do this, and actually I might give this to Bobby to do this. You might, Mom, if you could maybe add more flour. There's flour in the cupboard. And then we're gonna dance, okay? So we're gonna get that going. Are you guys ready to dance? So, we're gonna dance. And then Miss Barbara, she has three names. At school, some of you guys know her from school, from Lighthouse, I don't know if Lorenzo is watching. Um, hi, Tine. Um, Hi, Gardeers. We just finished making Play-Doh. So, if you if you want, you can go back and rewatch it with us. Um, but Miss Barbara, like I said, she has three names. At school, she's Miss Barbara. For me, she's Mom. And for Sarah, she's Bobby. So, however you know her, she is making play She's finishing up the Play-Doh, and we're going to dance, okay? No, I'm going to help with Bobby. Okay, so they're going to finish helping. So, let's get up and move your body. All right. Um, you guys want to do head, shoulder, knees, and toes? Or Ram, Sam, Sam? Who do I have watching? Let's see. What's a good one? Any requests? Any song requests? Oh, actually, let's do the alphabet song. I like that song. The alphabet, yeah, yeah, ABCs. They can help you move, so get up and dance with me. A, move your arm. Oh, you want to be like a bar. C, like a crustacean, and do the crabby crawl. D, about to get down. Elbows out, fingers flap and flutter about. Move your body. Okay, we'll do Ram Sam Sam. But you guys know that's one of my favorite songs. Okay, I have flour all over my phone. All right, are you guys ready? All right. Oh, I already changed it. <laughs> By the learning station. Arms up high. Arms up high. Reach for the sky. Let's sing and move along to the silly, silly Ram Sam song. A Ram Sam Sam, a Ram Sam Sam. Arms up high. 
Okay. Okay, so I think. Are you a Ram? We are a Ram stand master. Okay, you guys did great. How did that feel? Was that so tiring? That was so tiring. So, um, hey mom, how's it coming? Uh, getting there. It's getting there. So why don't we do one more song and then we'll take a look at the Play-Doh that we made. Hopefully your parents are still working and needing your Play-Doh. It needs a lot of love and pushing. So, you finished working on the Play-Doh? It came all the way out. You kind of made a mess. That's okay. When you're no. when you're doing science, it sometimes makes a mess. You just gotta remember to clean it up. But it went all over my hands. Okay, did you wash your hands? Yeah, I did. Perfect. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do what I wanted to do: the alphabet song by, of course, the famous, my favorite, Usher. Okay, get up. We're gonna do the. Okay, scoot over, Sarah. You can dance with me. You have to show them what to do. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Clap your hands. Hi, Jamie. The alphabet. Okay, here you have to come over here. Show them what you do. They can help you move. So, so get, get up and dance, dance with me. A. Move your arms. B. Sounds like a ball. C. Go to the station and do the crab and crawl. D. Up and down. E. Elbows out. I fingers flap and flutter about. Move your body to the letters. That's what you do. It's the ABCs. I'm moving you. Um, I definitely need a paper towel. Oh, 
So Sarah has something to show you. Sarah had such a good attitude yesterday that um, her dad said he was gonna buy her a surprise. Okay, Sarah, would you like to show everybody your surprise before we leave? Okay, come show them. Well, how about you set it up in front of the camera so they can see? Because right now they're just looking at me and they want to see you. Damn, what is it? You have to tell them exactly what it is. They don't know. It's when you um, get a napkin and you get good listening ears. So because you got good listening ears, who who is it? Um, there are two babies. Oh. It's Bobby Fashina. It's Bobby Fashina, the doctor version. So she got a Dr. Barbie. Yeah. And the Dr. Barbie has a stethoscope. Where's your stethoscope? There it is, by the pom pom. And two babies and um, a baby delivery cart for those who have had babies, you know, the bassinet with all the things. So this is what she got for being such a great listener yesterday. Um, yeah, but it Target got ain't paying us, but I think we got it at Target. Um, yeah, so that's it. Is there anything you you want to tell everybody before we log off? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tuesday, we do this every day. We do this Monday through Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are regular circle times. And Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday is art, and Thursday, as you can see, is science. Um, and yesterday, Tuesday, oh, my goodness. Good morning, Whitney. Tiki Whitney said good morning. So Tuesday, we made butterflies. And I, so Sarah made a butterfly with a toilet paper roll, construction paper, googly eyes, and a coffee filter. Um, I made something a little bit more simpler for the younger kids. It's just a octopus. An octopus, thank you. Um, and it's just paper rolled. It's not not a toilet paper roll. And then I also made a love bug, and I used paint. I painted the entire thing and just put um, black dots on it with googly eyes and just a heart. I can't tell. You. Yeah, there you go. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> I did it. So there you go. So love bug. And, and Bobby did with little eyes. Yes, I used little eyes. So, so I would finish doing this. Yes. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is regular circle time. Tomorrow we um Me, we are gonna be in Sarah Soraya's clubhouse. We will be upstairs in Sarah and Soraya's clubhouse. That's in their room. Um, tomorrow I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but I'll let you know. I, I usually do a reminder about what we're doing at around 9, 930. So you guys kind of know what we're doing. Um, so yeah, that's it for science. Thank you guys for joining. So happy to have you. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, Dad. Peace. Sarah, you want to say bye?